Shalom, shalom, everyone. So this class is on the Zer Shimshon Parshat Shemot. This class is dedicated for the Neshama of the Zer Shimshon. Rabbi Shimshon Chaim Nachmani, Ben Rabbi Nachman Michal Nachmani. For the Neshama of Yosef Ben Nuriel. For the Neshama of Chaim Ben Moshe. And for the Neshama of Michal Ben Meir. So let's get started. So in this week's Parsha, there's a verse that states, When he was on the way at the inn, Hashem encountered him and sought to kill him. So comes the commentary of Rashi to tell us that God intended to punish Moses uh, because he didn't give his son, he still didn't give his son Eliezer a, a Brit or a circumcision. Now this is difficult to understand. Since someone who intentionally neglects to do the um, mitzvah of Brit Mila, which is circumcision on himself after his bar mitzvah, they're punished with um, what's called as karet, or being cut off. But a father who doesn't give his son a circumcision while neglecting and performing a mitzvah ase, a positive uh, command, um, is not punished with getting cut off. So Rashi comes and says, when during the time when they're in the heavenly court where there's a time of great anger, a person would be punished for neglecting a positive command. But comes the, the Talmud to tell us that it was not a time of anger. In fact, if anything, the opposite of it was true. It was a time of special favor. God sent Moses to redeem his nation. So the question is, why was Moses punished so harshly? Comes the Midrash, um, the Zerah Shimshon quotes the Midrash of Bereshit Rabbah, to point out that God promised Abraham that if he would give himself a circumcision, he would merit having Moses as a descendant. And from here we can see that Moses was born because of Abraham's merit of agreeing to do circumcision on himself. So that being the case, it would now be Moses' job not only to heal the nation uh, from their state of impurity, but to make sure that pretty much the whole land, the whole nation of Israel received the circumcision. That should have been his priority initially, since that was the merit that Moses had of being one of Abraham's descendants. Um, so even by him showing even a hint of delaying the circumcision, this was a major shortcoming. And this is especially since we know that God is more stringent with even with the greatest tzaddikim. So God's complaint against Moses was that since he was born in the merit of the mitzvah of circumcision and that it was incumbent upon him to make sure that the entire nation received the circumcision, it wasn't okay for him to be laxed in this command. And that's this week's class on the Zerushim Shon. Until next week, Shabbat Shalom.